Instagram? Nah. They got a little video. Tap off? Peace. Yep. I ain't seen that. Talking about everybody tap in. You gotta have a fur on to get in the, to get in the video. Yeah. <laughs> Episode of the Outspoken Livecast. We got a motherfucking super duper special guest in the motherfucking house today. What's happening? My motherfucking nigga Blue Bill. If you know him as a basketball legend, you might know him as Randall Armstrong, but this Bill, bro, like, everybody always knew this nigga's name and nobody never called this nigga's <laughs> name. Right. <laughs> I not, don't even think teachers called you. Not even bro. the teachers. <laughs> the teachers used to call me Bill, bro, I swear. Bro, what's going on, bro? Man, chilling, man. We both just had a birthday. I guess that's why you bought this tall ass bottle over here this ah, time. Oh yeah, man. A so, lot, bro. Half gallon. He said it wasn't no fifth, so he tripled it. Wasn't no fifths, man. We toast enough for our birthdays. Yeah, that shit alright. I ain't never had it before. That's the first, yeah, that's the first sip. So bro, what's what's the word, man? Like, how do it feel to actually be 36 years old, knowing that we was, like, just 16, 17, like, eight blinks ago. Man, it feel crazy. Think about it, though. I feel like I'm 26, for real. Yeah. I don't even feel 36. I don't feel like it either. My body do sometimes, but yeah. my, my my spirit don't. Yeah. Like, I still feel hip. My kids don't get me hip to shit. I know right. everything yeah. they know yeah. without them even. You feel still in tune. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing about it. Like, you could be, you could be young in just your swag right. without yeah. even trying to be too young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we still in tune. Uh, it's like our dad's was. Like, your dad don't, he ain't old, even though he old. Right. He's still exactly. cool. Exactly, yeah. You feel yeah, yeah. My dad's same way. Yeah. So, shit, like, I, when I turned 36, like I said, I said, man, I'm 18 twice. Right. Like, I just feel 18 <laughs> again. Yeah. Like, not 18 again, but I'm 18 again. I like that. <laughs> you yeah, feel? Yeah. Like, that should be so funny just thinking about like, nigga, we, I don't know. I never really thought about getting this old. Not saying, like, I ain't think we would, but, right. like, we were so happy being young, I ain't never yeah. think about this part. We don't never really be thinking about the future when, when we was when we was young, for real. Right. That's how I feel like the young generation think now, you yeah. feel me? Like, right. like, I seen some on Instagram, man. <clears throat> PNB Rock's girl said he didn't have no will, he didn't have no life, life insurance. insurance. She, like... We so young, we don't think about death. Right. You feel me? So, I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm thinking about it. Like, yeah. yeah, that's, like, we, we wasn't thinking about Hell getting no. this old. We just thinking about having fun, and we young, and we ain't paying no bills. We just doing whatever. So, it gives you something to think about for real. But, you know, I came home when I was 26. So, that's yeah. what I said. I feel like I'm still 26. I came home when I was 26. Yeah. I did two Christmases mm -hmm. in the joint, so. Yeah, I don't even feel like I'm 36. You, like you said, the, the body do, but, you know, we still... Your knees can't hoop like they used to, right, but... Right, yeah, we can't get up and down the court yeah. like back then, but, yeah. Man, it's, uh... No, it's, it's, it's cool getting this old. Like, you get to see your kids be like you used to be. Right, yeah. Like, it's a, we know niggas that ain't never get to have kids. Like, right. or niggas that's, that's alive and don't got no kids. You feel me? So exactly. It's a the reflection on just looking at yourself grow up again is a, is a motherfucker. Like, yeah, see, Lil Bill, he definitely a reflection of me. I yeah. see me all in him. Right. His swag, everything. Mm -hmm. He quiet. Right. Laid back. He be chilling. Like, he quiet, but he's certain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how you used to be. Yeah. Like, I know I'm that nigga. I just don't talk right. about it. Right. On point. All that. Yeah. yeah. How was it? What, what, what's the first basketball team you played for? Uh, Mohawks. What grade? I'm trying to think how old I was. Uh, I want to say we was like, I had to be like six, six years, five, six years old. When, you, when we was that young, bro, it wasn't no better team to play for than the Mohawks. Man, not around the world, you ask me. Like, we was the best around, you hear me? And that's when they was black and red. Yeah. Like, that's when we was practicing that Bill Haven, the old Bill Haven. Yeah. That people don't even know of, you feel me? Yeah. Who was y'all coach back then? Uh, It was Coach Pearson. Then it was um, Rennie. Yeah. Coach Rennie, yeah. So you played for them till you couldn't play for them no more? 
Yeah, we won the. Uh, Cause that was like elementary AAU, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, and we won the. Um, we won a national championship in uh, in Tennessee on the uh, on the lady volunteers court. You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah. Let me say, was that eighth grade? I don't know. I can't. I can't remember what grade. But yeah. You ain't talking about when y'all was in the newspaper, was you? Yeah. That was Florida, I thought. Nah, that was Tennessee. Damn. Okay. Yeah, we won the nationals in Tennessee, yo. And when y'all changed to the baby blue, yeah, I thought like, yeah. damn, like they y'all had the y'all had some shit in. Yeah, like Jamie used to have the bags and yep. the we had the all that, the warm ups, the zip ups, mm-hmm. all that. Hey, that we, was when we was in the paper though. That was major, bro. What you think is different about the impact that basketball had on kids back then to now? Uh. I ain't gonna lie, that's all I wanted to do back then was who. I'm talking about, you know, I'm from Westwood, so we going to the center every day after school. Like, that's all I wanted to do. That's all I was on my mind was hooping. Like, I ain't really care about nothing that was growing up. It's a lot of more distractions now. Yeah, it's just social media. And we ain't had no social media. We ain't had none of that back then. It's yeah. way different. You got to do what you, like, the shit there was to do, you got to literally do it. Yeah. Like, phones and, like, simulated shit, like, games and Man, playing the game. Yeah. Like, it was Niggas had that. systems and niggas wanted to hoop. Yeah, I wasn't even ride bikes and hooping. That's all I was doing. Yeah. I wasn't even think about what was back, what was out back then, Nintendo? Like, we, I was Sega, thinking, Nintendo. I wasn't thinking about none of that. PlayStation 1. I'm going to the center to go hoop. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, Pops had to build the, the, uh, the court in the backyard, so... I went to the backyard to go hoop. Like, I ain't even had to go to the center after a while. You How influential me? do you think your dad was on making sure you stayed on the right path of having something to do, like play basketball? Man, very influential, man. He, he instilled that in me. Like, even when, even when he wasn't at the house, he ain't, he ain't had to tell me to, like, son, go go work on your game. Like, I'm doing it on my own, like, you feel me? So, he ain't had to tell me nothing. Like, I heard that's Martin. how much he... Yeah. John Moran said his dad, he had, when he was young, he had, like, niggas spend the night over his house that be playing the game and shit. He said his dad would leave in the morning and come home, they still playing the game. Right. He said his dad just told him, while y'all playing the game, somebody playing the game. Right. Yeah. He like, and he just walked away. Yeah. He like, we need to take our ass outside. Like, man. <laughs> yeah. That's how it was, bro. He ain't had to tell me nothing after a while. Like, I'm going to do it on my own. You don't really see kids hooping in the street no more. Nah. Not like how we used to do. I'm talking about the the street lights was on. We still at the center. Outside, put up a crate. Yeah, outside, we still at the center hooping. Like nigga, do anything to play basketball back then. Put up crates, roll another nigga rim over their house. My parents had to call me. Like, where you at? Yeah, when you coming home? Right. So shit, your dad was when your your dad was your coach. What? When did your dad become your coach? Uh, he was uh. You know, he was like assistant coaching at with the Mohawks, like you feel me? Mm-hmm. Just but actual like coach was his middle deal. But you know, he was, you know he was JV coach. You know I was on V. Yeah. I went f- <clears throat> my freshman year. I played freshman. Coach Taylor was the coach. My sophomore year, he was the JV coach. I was on V. Right. So he wasn't really my coach. But yeah. he was my coach, you feel me, right. if, you, if you get what I'm saying? Like, he's still on the team. He's still there, you feel me? So, yeah, he, yeah. Was your dad one of them dads that's, like, in the way? Like, the dads that's, like, coaching and want their son to be more? Or was your dad just, like, a coach and not your dad? I say both, for real. Because he wanted me to be so good, you yeah. feel me? Like, right. which is is... Respectfully so, you right. feel me? Like same way I am with little Bill. Right. Like you just want your your son to be that good. That like, I don't know. It was it was a good thing to me. Yeah. Like people used to say, ah, uh, uh, your your dad the coach. That's why you get so much playing time. Nah, I'm really that good. Yeah, right. Like it ain't even about him. Right. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> Like and I that's, ain't that's easy yeah. for a lot of motherfuckers to say. Just like like oh, your dad the coach, nah, he not even really coaching me for real. Yeah. Like you I'm like that. I'm really that good. Yeah. Like I ain't, yeah, I ain't do. Y'all couldn't even say that. They were saying it though, but nah. 
Niggas knew for real. I'm really that good. Talk about who was on that Mohawks team that won the national. Uh, man, look. I know, I know, but I'm I know your memory probably. Right. You, you know. yeah. <laughs> but I was, let's say we I'm, we could go from I'm talking about Morris. If I'm missing somebody, you let was me know. Cody on there? Cody, Morris you, and Cody, Javen, Javen, Dorian, Dorian, Lee, Lee Body, Derek, Derek, Big John, Big John. It's my dog. What, where, what happened to Big John? I don't know where Big John at. You know, he was at Fairview with us, man. That's yeah. my dog, man. I don't Big know. John. Was Twan Brown on the different age team of that team or what? He was up above us. That yeah. was uh, him. Tay Williams. Him, Tay Williams. T. Coop. Uh, man, they, 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 Lil Tommy. Yeah. They had a squad too, bro. Yeah. Like them and us, like man, they come, they come fuck with us, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. We used to go out of town. I'm not talking about New Orleans, Atlanta. I'm talking about around the world and tear shit up, man. I swear yeah. to God. What? How? How many of them? I mean, I remember a lot of them same people went to Fairview with you, with us, like. Shit, damn near everybody you, you named Javen, them there except Javen. But Fairview, but not Fairview, well, I'm saying that went to Fairview with us. Javen was on Fairview with you. It was you, Javen, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. motherfucking, man, I can't, that's and, a, and, Until after high school, everybody, like, yeah. went their own way for You, Javen, and Derek was the core of Fairview. Yeah, yep. Yeah. How was it hooping for Miss Taylor? Man, lovely, man. It's shit, it's, it's different. People went to Fairview just wanting to hoop for her. Man, because, man, her record, shit. Her, I want to know her record. Because, man, I'm talking about my 7th and 8th grade year, we went undefeated. No cap. Yeah. We ain't lose not one game. Yeah. My 7th and 8th grade year, and I'm trying to think about uh, Sean Ball and them above us and meeting them. Brian like Brown. And yeah, I don't think, I can't even remember them losing the game for real. Yeah. So, man, shit. Niggas love, man. Miss Taylor. Her favorites was Coop and Sweet Pea. Man, she was the truth, man. Yeah. Miss Taylor, I love Miss Taylor. I had her for health, t uh, for health, too. Yup, I did, too. Miss Taylor, I love Miss Taylor. Yeah, let's talk about Fairview, man. A lot of people don't know. Like, bro, I went to a lot of schools, but I'm, like, proudest I went to Fairview. Yeah. Like, that I was feel, a cool that. fucking school to I go to. I feel that way, too. Like, Fairview was the shit. It was it was so much. It was like the streets. Yeah, Fairview was the shit. It was shit going on at Fairview that we knew grown ups was doing, but we didn't know people our age was right. doing until we went there. Man. Motherfuckers coming to school with stolen cars, smoking mouths in the bathroom, getting their dick sucked in the cold cottage, man, whatever, everything, get, get money. flipping quarters, yeah. shooting fifty for money, open gym. like it was just a I don't know. It just was some shit. Man, niggas just to be mad they couldn't get in Fairview. I was, nigga, I had to move school. with my grandma to go to Fairview. Yeah. Niggas was mad they couldn't get into Fairview, man. Like, yeah. That was a hell of a time, bro. It was, bro. That's when cash money came out. It was, bro. That's Fairview. when twerking came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fairview, man. For real, bro. Yeah, Fairview. You played football for Fairview? My seventh grade year, yo. Mm -hmm. I thought it was eighth grade. No. Cause my eighth grade year, Miss Taylor, she like, hey, I don't want you to get hurt. Yeah. Nah. Plus, I'm I'm out there. Let me tell y'all, man. Seventh grade year, corn. I was with corn. I think we was both the wide receivers. Shout out to corn. Something. Corn coaching. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to corn, yeah. man. We was uh, my seventh grade year. I got out there, and I uh, I was wide receiver, man. And it was like a cross the middle pass. Knock your shit off. And I got hit so hard. I said, man, this ain't for me. I ain't doing this no more. <laughs> and then I didn't want to get hurt. Miss Taylor, like, I don't want you playing. Like, yeah. I don't even want you to get hurt. And then when I got the metal deal, Coach Taylor, Coach Taylor said the same thing. Not Miss Taylor, Coach you gonna, Taylor. You was going to play football for metal deal? I was thinking about it, but he like, I don't want you to, like, yeah. nah. Like, we ain't that was over that. by then. Yeah. I'm like, I know you ain't played football in high yeah, school. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. So, you get the metal deal. I remember... I remember y'all played CJ our freshman year. Mm -hmm. And that was like, damn, I'm about to see Jaden and Bill play against right. But that's the first time I realized, like, yeah. damn, why CJ play like this? Yeah. What you mean like this? He can't do nothing. 
Like all the shit I know he know how to do, he can't do it. Right. So basically like they had him like Water the a, fuck down. Playing a certain way. Yeah. Like you but can't do this, can't do that. You doing your shit. I'm like They had him shooting that motherfucker though. Man, that was but it was like the Spurs. He had a green light out there. Yeah, that's all he could do. Is shoot over his own. Jay had a green light. But but when you knew motherfuckers that's coming from Dave Public that went to CJ, you looking at him like, why you yeah. ain't playing like you? Right. They ain't, they don't play like that. You feel me? Yeah. So that was the first time I realized like, damn, it's a difference between this private school and they ain't right. running. Yeah. They scoring 35, 40 points a game. Yeah. The whole game. I think I. Uh, Dave Public had that first quarter. <laughs> man, I think I averaged 30 <clears throat> my my freshman year. Literally. I remember giving every team 30. Oh, we forgot. Uh, Q Hef. Oh, yeah. Stivers. Yep. Q Hef was on the Mohawk team, too. Shout out to Q Hef, man. They put him in the Hall of Fame. Did Stivers. it? Yeah. That's my dog, Q Hef. Remember, Q Hef had 50. Shout out Q Stone, too. He played hey, we gonna Stivers get, we with gonna Q Hef, too. We going to get to it. We going to get to that, for sure. Matter of fact, we going to get to it now. When the first time you met Q? At Stivers. Hooping. Yep. Was it my freshman? Yep, it was my freshman year. But you know he from RP, so RP and Westwood like this. Right. You walk across the street, you on RP. Yeah. So I, I met him at Stivers my freshman year. I remember I was get I gave him 32, probably more than that. But I remember I was on a fast break and Q was running with me. And I'm coming down, I came down with it, and I got an and one on him. I'm talking shit like, yeah, nigga, like. So he got, I guess he asked Q Hef after the game, like, man, what's that? that? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I forget how we got connected, but, you know, he from RP, so shit. We got so cool. Like, he walking to my mama's house, I'm walking to his mama's house. Like, we got cool as fuck. Like, everybody, niggas was thinking I was from RP. Right. I was kicking it with him so much. So this high like, school or middle school? Middle school going into high school. Okay. Yep. See, I ain't meet Q till... I met Q from trying out for Metro in like 10th yeah, grade. Yep. So, nigga, we had tryouts. They put us on teams. We running. So, you, you know how my shot used to be. I'm either right. going to make that motherfucker or yeah. I'm a terrible. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. But it's no in between. I'm not right. going to hit the If I'm going to hit the rim, I'm hitting the net. If I'm not hitting the net, I'm not hitting nothing. You right. feel me? Yeah. Nigga, they give me the ball one time. I'm shooting this bitch. Actually, I'm just shooting this bitch whenever I get it. You feel right. me? <laughs> and then Q, he on the other team. That nigga said, "Boy, you don't give a fuck, do you?" I'm like, "Hell no, nigga. If I don't make this Sound shit, this, like yeah. yeah." I'm like, "If I don't make the team this time, nigga, I ain't doing nothing about it." So it's all or nothing yeah, right yeah. now. Right. So nigga, I'm I'm missing like a motherfucker. He laughing every time we go back. I'm guarding him. He like, "Bro, you all so bullshit." <laughs> I don't know him though. He just right. laughing like, "Bro, you really don't give a fuck. You pulling this motherfucker." I'm telling this thing like, "Bro, I ain't really no basketball player, but I'm a rapper." Yeah. That nigga like, man, this was Joe Avery, like tenth grade. I'll I'll Metro High School. Okay, yeah. Before he come to Meadowdale. Right. <clears throat> Tell him, like, bro, I'm a rapper for real. That nigga, like, really probably looking at me like, nigga, you just yeah. weak at basketball. That's why you're talking yeah. about you're a rapper. <laughs> so this nigga skipped school, come to Meadowdale one day in the cafeteria while we had lunch. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I'm about to show you, nigga. Yeah, I'm about to. Man, I do what he like. You, a, you really a rapper for real? I'm like, yeah, nigga, I don't play basketball. Yeah. I wanted to, but. Right. I'm halfway out, nigga. I already know it's probably gonna be this. Yeah. So we come to Meadowdale, but the summer before Meadowdale, you get there, I see him at the Y with Juan. Me and David go up there, we hooping this nigga keeps seeing young bloods. He keeps saying, I'm for show with it. <laughs> Man, that sound just right, like you. Keep shooting that motherfucker left hand shot. He, I'm for show with it. <laughs> I'm noticing about you the nigga from the Metro trial. Man, that nigga. Like, I'm coming funny, to Meadowdale man. next year. I'm coming to Meadowdale next year. Bro, that nigga came to Meadowdale, that nigga first game with you and Tay. That nigga said, I should have never came here. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me that. He told me that, bro. That nigga said, these niggas is some running <laughs> bitches. They shoot that motherfucker every time they get it, bro. Hey, he told me that, man. That nigga he... said, Miss, Mr. Teller gonna tell me, no, you no, yeah. no. <laughs> Said I made up over. He was like, "Okay, then you good job, good job." Hey, he, Except, bro, they don't want me to shoot at none. Man, he damn near came to Metal Deal because of me and Juan for real, man. Like <laughs> that's how cool he was. He's like, "Man, I'm coming over there. I need to be with my niggas." Like, yeah. I'm like, 
But after a while, I'm like, bro, you really should have stayed at Starbucks because you was the you and Q was the man. Like you could have just had to wait his time. Yeah, like you coming over here, it's already me and Tay. It's like, stacked. yeah, so you really got to sit back for real, like. But shit, I was glad he was there though. I yeah, didn't lie. that was my nigga, bro. That nigga is bro. He came, he get on the basketball team, and he on the football team too. Yeah. So yeah. he playing football, he a wide receiver, he think he Jerry Rice. He think, man, hey. He think he really like that. I'm talking about, I seen that nigga, I'm after school one day, he out on, he like, yeah, I'm, I'm out, watch, watch me, watch yeah, me. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'm not even going to be there. So, when, when Q come, this is probably what, 11th, junior year? Yep. So he come junior year, this Tay senior year, so by the time mm -hmm. he leave, Q probably thinking it's it's me and bro, it's me and Bill. Yeah, it's on. It really still wasn't. It wasn't on. <laughs> it still wasn't on for real. I wanted to be on, but it still wasn't on for real. Bro, we used to be in classes together. They used to have to break us up. Yeah. Remember we used to be in Mr. Stump class. Mr. Stump class. Yeah. Then then Q told us one day he like, hey, bro. I ain't fucking with y'all no more. I got a pass, bro. I'm not yeah. fucking laughing with y'all niggas no more. I'm <laughs> moving my seat. We like, bro, you ain't moving your seat. This nigga moved to the front. To the front. I remember that. Bro, you was like, you a bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you was a hoe. You gonna leave us? <laughs> that nigga left us and got a C and we still failed. Oh, yeah, failed like a mom. Bro, that nigga Mr. Stump used to call us BBQ. Brian, yeah. Bill, Q, yeah. stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That was something funny. Man, we had some good times. Man, we used, to be in, man we used to be in Mr. Stump class with Muff, April. Damn. Motherfucking, I think Juan was in there. Or he used to skip and come in there, yeah. Juan. Man, Metal Dough used to, we used to really like, we really ran Metal Dough. We ran that motherfucker, literally, bro. Like, everybody else do what they tell them to do. We do whatever we yeah, wanted. Yeah, I'm talking about. <sighs> I'm talking about, man, hey, really, really running it. I can say some shit that'll get some new teachers in trouble, so I ain't gonna say it. Bro, I got a funny story. What about when, when Trey, what's it, when Trey did bitchy like that? What? Like and he what? gave him 30 on the JV. Trey Sean? Yeah. That was ugly. <laughs> no, we came to school. I was there. Then. Bro, I was we there. came to school that Monday, everybody was like, bro. I was there. That little nigga was going. Crazy on bro, man. We tried to help. We was helping him, but we couldn't do shit about it. That nigga went nuts. That nigga was never on some and one shit back then. That nigga lost his mind. Trey, you know? Oh damn! Shout out to Trey, Trey Jones too, Mohawks. Yeah, another one. Shout out to Trey, man. Yeah, but that was like that. real live and one, man. He was on that shit. That was my hey. Let me tell y'all about me and Trey, man. Yeah. That was like man. I just I just spend a night. Over his mama house, Miss Tiffany, shout out to Miss Tiffany too. Man, I used to spend a night over their house all the time. I'm talking about like every day when they stay out there in Trotwood. And he, they used to do the same thing at my house. Like we was like, that's my brother. Like, yeah. My day one. Like, yeah, shout out to Trey, man. But a lot of motherfuckers don't know this, right? <clears throat> I had, all my friends was athletes. Right. Yeah. Because me, personally, that's what I originally wanted to be before I wanted to be a rapper. But once I became a rapper, I felt like the athletes was like a rapper. How it is today. The basketball players kicking with the rappers. The rappers went kicking with the basketball players. But like, but back then it was like, back then it was like the basketball players was the, the trappers instead of the rappers for real you feel me like niggas really couldn't get good grades and like niggas it was some dogs out there that really you couldn't get no good the grades that was sweeter than the niggas that really played yeah. that couldn't get the grades to play but they was yeah like it was some dogs but all the niggas i kicked it with was like that was the star so yeah. i saw myself as a star so i'm trying to line up with who they see as a star to make right like yeah. rapping wasn't Niggas rapping wasn't like being a basketball player till I was rapping. Right. But in my mind, I'm trying to make it like being a basketball player. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I got to be with them to make what I'm doing like that. Right. That yeah. nigga rap, that nigga play, he averaged 25. 
and he get 120 yards and two touchdowns a game. Yeah. Like, that's the crowd of motherfuckers I wanted to be looked at like them. Right. So hanging with y'all shit, it was like, <laughs> that's the closest thing to rappers. Yeah. Wasn't no rappers. Right. I mean, this niggas that rap at the lunch table, yeah. but I was a rapper. Yeah. You feel me? really wasn't no really rappers back then. Tell people how many rappers was at Metal Deal. Like, rapping was like playing basketball. You. Reese. Peanut. Nut. Dame. Dame. Duro. Duro. EQ. Q. Q Stone. Q Stone. EQ. Ahmed. <sighs> Nigga named 10. Uh. Ivan? Yeah. Yeah. D-Mail? About, yeah. about 15 Kooji. strong. Like, uh... White Boy Steve? Steve? Yeah. About 15 strong. Like, this was something... Real else. rappers, though. Yeah. We used to do this shit every fucking day. Like... CDs and mixtapes <clears throat> back then. 2003, 4. The lunch table yeah. was the basketball game for rappers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's a fact. Like, I don't know. Like, that was a... Then we could talk about... Like we said, we ran Metaldale, but think of our year of motherfuckers that we was linked in with that ran A school. Yeah. We fucking with Chuck now. We fucking with Javen now. We fucking right. with Dorian now. We fucking with AB. We fucking with... Every school we fuck with, and they was running A school too. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just uh, without even really doing it on purpose. Right. Like Pooh. Yeah. At Dunbar. Yeah. Like, you know he from Westwood too. Yeah. Shout out to Daquan yeah. Cook too. You know, from Westwood, they all used to come to the house. What the Fairview we, too? You yeah. Remember when, you remember when Pooh dunked on the teachers in the teacher game? Yeah. At Fairview? Yeah. That fucked me up. Let me tell y'all another story. <clears throat> eighth grade championship. My eighth grade year, Pooh was in the seventh grade. He played up in the championship in the eighth grade championship with us. He was in the seventh. I'm not even sure you can do that. And he had more points than everybody, even me. That nigga was the leading scorer. Shouts out to Jermaine Essex. Jermaine Essex said every class had a rapper in it. That's a fact. <clears throat> Shout out Jermaine. He football, was a, he football, was a, real, real deal football player. On both sides, though. Football mm -hmm. and basketball. Mm -hmm. He had a game. Metaldale was a... I, I, to, I remember I told EQ when we walked out of Metaldale the last day. I said, damn, bro, we ain't never coming here again. Yeah, man. Like, I never stepped foot in the new metal deal. <clears throat> I never been in there before. That ain't my school. Right. Yeah. Like, you put me on the wall in a building, I, I ain't never... go to that game, too. They, they canceled That would have been your first time going right, in there? Right, right. I've been in there a couple times. They don't even feel like you went there. It ain't, it ain't the you same. You did it. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't the same. But I, I still feel the vibe, though, when I go. How did it feel leaving metal deal, going to college? Did you know what did what did you know about college and how did how did cause my thing is bro city niggas don't make it in college. Right. Yeah. Like I don't know what it is, but we don't think it is what it is. I don't I don't know what it is. Like I uh I don't know. I ain't know what to expect from Me real. either. <laughs> I went to uh Muskegon before Where is that at? Concord, Ohio. It's like a little little town called Concord, Ohio, like Two, three hours away from here, feel me like. What direction? What's it by? North. Okay. Yeah. So, uh. Is it like going towards Toledo or Cleveland? Yeah. Okay. The that other way. way. Yep. Yeah. So, uh. I was bored, man, for real. I played a, I played that. I got a partial scholarship, so I played a, played a half a year. I played a half a year on the team, but. It was cool. I like the experience. You feel me? Like, how was it with? Was it? Was it any? Was it? Was it all white? Yeah. How was that? Basically, basically <clears throat> it was cool for me because shit, you know, I was making some money. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting some money. So mm -hmm. I really wasn't. I don't know. After that time, it was like I ain't. I ain't gonna make it to the league, so I ain't really trying to. Do I remember your no profile more, so picture like, back then. What was I doing? Money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was over after that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was damn near over before that. Damn near, because I... I remember the red cricket. Yeah. I ah, yeah. It was over. 
too. It was make, remember the yeah. McDonald's job. That was damn near. It was yeah. It me was and Chris. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Johnson too. My motherfucking nigga. Me and Chris was at Mc, we was working at McDonald's uh, in high school, probably like two days a week. Cause she, I had basketball practice every day, so I probably only was working on Saturdays <laughs> and Sundays. <laughs> Somebody shouted out for us at Bounce. He definitely did. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> we got to talk about his comedian skills, though. Man, that dude that's was... One, hey, bro. That's a funny nigga, man. Bro, that nigga there... I ain't seen that nigga in a minute, too. Every day when I came to Metal Girl, it's like, <laughs> what is he going to do today? Uh, yeah, yeah. Dude bro, this nigga would come in. We, bro, bro we in Miss Brzezinski class, bro. Anybody that know Miss Brzezinski class, anybody can come in there and damn near do anything. Bro, this nigga come in there one day. Miss Brzezinski like, Force, what are you doing here? The nigga said. <laughs> <laughs> we just walk faster. Like, he said, hey, everybody, check this out. This nigga walked out the room. We like, what are you doing? This nigga lifted his shirt up, had his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga would do this every day. Clown, bro. I swear to God. I, I come to school next day. They say, bro, this nigga Force was running in practice with his draws on yesterday. His draws are like random, far out comedy. Yeah, he was a comedian. One time, I remember this nigga said he. I think he broke up with his girl. I ain't gonna say who his girl was at the time, but bro, he breaks up with his girl and he's telling me, and the girl's standing right there. <laughs> we have, we leave the school, bro. I'm standing there in front of the building. He like, hey, yeah, you know. Cause I got bitches, and I be fucking them <laughs> on school property. I said, "What on school property?" The girl looking at me and him talking. She like, "Cause I guess he got caught fucking at school, and she found out he cheated on her at school." Man. That nigga said, "And I be fucking them on school property." <laughs> In front of him. In front of her. <laughs> Hey, hey bro, every day at Metal Girl, let's, bro, let's talk about this. Let's talk about Senior Skip Day. Ooh. When Q was acting like he was drunk. Man, that <laughs> Ooh, he was lying. That nigga was lying. Bro, I remember we were smoking in White Boy Steve Cadillac. It's me, you, Corn, White Boy Steve, and TJ. Yeah. That nigga Corn talking about. Yeah, we, we jigging this bitch. He talking about the blunt. You want to say that? <laughs> we jigging. <laughs> man, we jigging this bitch. Come on, say that. It get little, it get back to it. Be like, oh yeah, she still got a little scream in her. You <laughs> funny as fuck. Bro, man. we went and played laser tag. Yeah. Or deal with the gold corral. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> bro, think... I was high as fuck. <laughs> that was like my second time smoking weed. I bro. think I really skip, skip. I don't think, I don't remember coming to that. I was no, there. you were there. I was there. You was in the car smoking with us. I don't remember that. I remember Bruh. that so high. I don't remember. That's what I be trying to tell you sometimes. Yeah. I be remembering shit like, nigga, when you sold your dad's car. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. Bro, that nigga Q came in. He get it. He get in the car. He got on the motherfucking... When y'all had to help me push it? Or nah. another day? Nah, it wasn't that day. Oh, okay. So you did it more than once. You was on some J shit. Man, I just still Bruh. pop shit all the time, man. He, they called me, right? They like, what you doing, bro? I'm like, I'm just chilling. I ain't doing nothing. They, we about to come get you. How? We what? took, Bill got his dad's car. Q said it? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> he stole it? Oh, <laughs> hell. Bro, like, you said that like he supposed to have it. All right, yeah. Like, like right. he let me have yeah, it. Yeah, we is not even supposed to be doing nothing like this. <laughs> bro, we on the way. Come get me this nigga Q. Like, he got, remember we used to wear the dope boy coats. We used to get them from Foot Locker. Yep. He like, man, I got on my blue dope boy coat, my blue tee, my blue and gray hat. I came down and said, my mama going to say, nigga, what you think, you a crip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we go to this party at the Meadows of Catalpa party room. Yep, I remember, yeah. We knock on the door, they like, what y'all want? We like, we here for the party. They like, it ain't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> we close the door, we walk away, we said, bro, we look lame as fuck. Fuck. Yeah, did though. We early, early as fuck. Everybody here, yeah. we fresh. We when we leaving, nigga. Your, your sister called you and said, "I'm scared to be at home by myself." <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to T. Hey, that nigga T said, "Bro, T. Older than us." Bro, you told us you said, "Hey, bro, when it come to my sister, yeah, fuck y'all, niggas." Yeah, hey, to this to this day. 
Shout out to hey, TT, bro. man. Hey, you're the realest nigga ever for literally telling us. Like, yeah, like it ain't I'm even a mental home. understanding like, yeah. thing. Nah, nigga, y'all need to know this. All right, yeah. But when it come to my sister, fuck y'all, niggas. Y'all, I'm yeah. going home. Hell yeah. Hey, she really was scared you was going to get caught. Right, that's what it really was. Bruh, she yeah, was I ain't so scared to be home. Funny. I'm scared you going to get your ass beat. Man. Nigga, I had bar, nigga, this one, nigga, Javen go to CJ, and you live next door to me. I'm wearing the flyest shit ever, along with my flyest shit ever, mm -hmm. the Metal Dale, my wardrobe's times two. Yeah. I got on this nigga's white Echo sweatsuit. Nigga, you like, the window, the back window fogged up. Wipe the window out. Yeah. Man, I wiped the window, it was black on the sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I said, bro, this window dirty as fuck. <laughs> Wipe that nigga shit, nigga. He got black. I'm like, man, I gotta wash this nigga shit. He better not say nothing. Damn. Man, that's these is these is real Dude, lives. I'm talking about fusions. I'm talking about, bruh, niggas don't even read these is times you never even seen them. Fusions. <sighs> talking about 15, 16, getting in the MJs. When he supposed to be in there. Nigga, remember you told me you was there at Miracles when the nigga got shot off the car? I was. I was ducking behind the car. Literally. Nigga, we used to be going to the Democratic. But that summer when Jeezy came out, niggas don't understand. <clears throat> like, that's not the way to be introduced to being 18. Right. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. Because niggas, we was already. Well, I was. I was already yeah. trapping in, in high school, so shit. I don't know, bro. Because after a certain. You know, shit. See. Seventh, eighth grade, we was at Fairview. You know, your parents, they buy you everything, like how we do our kids now. But, man, shit, when I got to high school, they like, man, I ain't buying that shit no more. Nah. So, we got to keep our image up. You feel me? It's already what like, it is. Oh, Bill, she yeah. had all the J's, even though we wore uh, uniforms. But, yeah. shit, my feet game was... So, shit, I ain't about to come in. And you gotta pay, they still paying for you to do all this AAU shit. Yeah, this shit. I ain't about to come in high shoes school. And, and, bro, I'm buying, I have to buy you shoes to play basketball. Man, what? I can't spend 200 on Jordans. Mm -hmm. Now you men size. Nigga, I remember when we got the Fairview, yeah. the forces with the strap on the back was yeah. the shit. Yeah. And the high tops. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. With the strap on the, the back. Rashids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Niggas is hooping in the gym with their uniform on. With they, bro, that was like, that looks sweet as fuck. Because we didn't, I didn't even know that then. Right. Forces yeah. with the tall, like, I ain't, yeah. I was on Sacconis. Right. Shit, me too. That's nigga, that was, that was cool too. That's what we was on But nigga, you. the forces with the, man, they had the white and yellow with the yellow strap on yeah. the back. The white and gray with the gray strap on the back. The white and black with the black strap on the back. The all white. What I'm talking about? I'm like, boy. That nigga Black Josh said I was shooting that night for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Josh, you crazy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, bro. <clears throat> the city was different when we was teenagers, bro. Yeah. JT Day. Black <sighs> Coastal Festival. Nigga, do you remember the first all-city turnabout? Ours or just period? Hero Arena. Oh, uh, what? Um, what was he there? Me and Jamie was. I don't remember that. Hell Man, listen, man. they played that motherfucker. This Damn. One, this one motherfucking big timer still fly with the Gucci so, suit. All the schools. Yes. I think I was there. Nigga, bro. you remember DJ All City? Yeah. That's where his name came from. Ooh, I think I was there, bro. You know, my memory's so shot. Bro, that me. shit was crazy, bro. All the schools. I think I was at, there. At oh, Hero man, Arena? I think Whoa. Nigga, look, look at this story. Nigga, we think Jamin's mom picking us up. Nigga, from the Herman turnabout? pick us up. From the turnabout? Yeah. Herman pick us up. Nigga, I got to the car before, and Jamin's girlfriend with us. Yeah. Nigga, I get to the car, that nigga like, where the fuck that nigga at? Because <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> you out. Hey, bro, that nigga cussed him out in front of his girlfriend all the way to fucking Centerville. What was the problem? Why, why are you late? Why are you not out here? Yeah. When, I, when I'm coming to pick How he know I'm out here and I called you and you ain't even out here. Damn. Boy, that shit used to be, bro. That nigga was crazy. I fuck with her. Man, man I man, fucks man. with him. But that nigga was on some bullshit back then. Yeah, yeah, I remember I spent the night over at House the first time. I opened my eyes up when I'm asleep. This nigga standing over us in the dark like this. 
I'm like, what the fuck? I wake up, hot sauce in my mouth. Bro, <laughs> these is fucking real times, bro. Man, this nigga, <clears throat> this nigga got me in here with a contact. I'm high as fuck. <laughs> this nigga, I ain't even had this shit live for 10 minutes. This nigga got me with a contact, boy. Like y'all said, I had a dirt bike outfit on at that with the goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dirt bike with the outfit. <laughs> Goggles, bruh, that's funny as fuck, bro. Ah, oh, look, Jermaine talking about you, that ride. Hell yeah, we remember that ride freshman year, man. That bruh, when the when the sheriff Ooh, got drugged down, bruh. Hey, that's listen, true. right? We gonna tell y'all what the problem was of why it even happened. They used to have all the whole school in one lunch. When we used to get out of school early, the whole school would eat in one lunch. Yeah, yeah, that was fucked. We up. never got out early again. Man, we, hey, that was our freshman year, man. I'm like, what the? I'm like, damn, this would be going? Because, you no, know, we don't know. Bro, I used to, when, when we used to be seniors and freshmen, used to be like, why we don't get out early? I used to be like, because of us. Yeah. We the last class of motherfuckers that was there that did that. Bro, they pepper sprayed everything. Yeah, that shit was crazy, man. I remember they got, they had my nigga Tyree on the ground. Shout out Tyree Jordan, yeah. man. Big dog. Uh. Yeah, man, they had they had re man, they had re fucked up on the ground, man. Didn't Twan Brown start that? I don't. They started in the lunchroom. I know, but they said know. somebody stole on somebody and dipped. I don't know. I ain't. I don't know. Man, I remember Twan Brown was gonna buy my techno machine in tenth grade. That nigga like, let me buy that, bro. <laughs> Who started this shit? Yeah, that know. was a crazy ass day. Yeah. When I made it, my dad called me worried as fuck. Like, hey man, you alright? The helicopters out there. That's it, man. God damn. Drug him by the drug the deputy by the seatbelt down the street, bro. Yeah, man. Never got out early again. Our freshman. Deputy Saunders. I'll never forget that nigga. I know exactly what he looked like and everything. Our freshman year. That was that was crazy. And then, you know, that's when the uh the twin tires hit. Our freshman, that was our freshman year. Like, I, shit was, I was in Triola when that happened. I was in social studies, man. That shit was, our freshman year, shit was going on, Yeah, bro. I didn't even know what <clears> the <throat> Twin Towers was. I didn't either. Yeah. We, <clears throat> who class, I was in social studies. I forget the, the lady, the lady name was. I was in social studies. Man, shouts out to Miss Millerton, bro. She on here? Yeah, she come in right now. What's up, Miss Millerton? We my, had we, my, my favorite teacher. That's yeah, my man. favorite teacher. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, listen, I never. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a teacher. funny story, bro. I remember when she kicked my Q, dog. When Q, when me and Q had her together, not me and you. Man, she kicked Q out in the hallway. What she said for the whole year, <laughs> bro. He had somebody, to stay out in the hallway. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Somebody lied on him and said he called her a name, bro. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> Little Brittany Vance. Damn. <laughs> They, ah, uh, damn. Bruh, that nigga used to come to the room every day and get his work like, can I come back now? She used to be like, say, man, hallway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That used to be like, that's some bullshit, bro. My favorite teacher, Miss Militant, I swear. I ain't gonna lie. Man, Miss Militant know shit about me that it's, re it's, it's shit she know about me. Motherfuckers don't even have a Her, Mr. Her, Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward took us to the... Mr. Ward's daughter was married to Penny, right? He took us to the to the Knicks game. Remember, Penny played for the Knicks. Yeah. This was 0, 05 when mm -hmm. Penny played for the Knicks. Mr. Ward took me, Brandon, and Q. <coughs> <coughs> was it somebody else? Was it, was it, it might have been somebody else, but he took us to the... Uh, e? I want to say it was EA, too. Mm -hmm. He took us to the Knicks game. Yep. And... uh. We met Penny after the game. Penny gave us some of his shoes and all that. Like, that was, I appreciate Mr. Ward for that. That was, that was love right there. But shouts out to Paul and Parrish, man. Yeah, shouts out to them. Remember they little nephew? Yep. That little nigga yeah. was raw. Yeah. One time we over there, over his mom's house smoking, right? Mm -hmm. Get through smoking, he come out playing on his little rim. That nigga like, I dunk on y'all. Bro, he like nine. We holler, yeah. We we laughing like, man, yeah, right. He like get under there. 
So now we like, hey, bro, we 20. You ain't about to be talking to us like that. You right. talking about get under there like you gonna really dunk on somebody. Bro, yeah. this nigga took off on one of these niggas like this. Look, like LeBron. Boom! Punched. Or a grown-up on a little kid rim. Bro, another nigga like, man, you got me fucked up. <laughs> he get up, get under, bro, this nigga take off and do a windmill on him. All right. Boom, nine years old on a kid rim. I said, oh, yeah, this little nigga like that. <laughs> <laughs> This little nigga is like that. About, get under this. <clears throat> Bruh, craziest basketball game I ever been too far as bitches. CJ versus Trotwood. Damn, for real? What? You think so? What? Our shit used to be deep, bro. Uh, not with quality like that. Are you talking about just the girlfriends? Yeah. CJ I'm... versus Trotwood? Yeah. At CJ? When the when Trotwood first break out they black jerseys? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What year was that? Oh five. Oh, that was senior year. Chris Wright versus Derrick Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, yeah. what? They probably sold that bitch up. Man, I'm in there for sure. I'm telling niggas that yeah, night, y'all yeah. niggas don't even understand yeah, yeah. what's about to happen. We probably played that night too. You probably like, fuck our game, bro. This was like a Wednesday. <laughs> it wasn't even Friday. Oh, it was a weekday. Okay. You know how they do? They yeah, all yeah. over the week. Yeah. Man, that shit used to be different, bro. Them CJ games. Bro, the Trotwood games, even, bro, they had the upper deck in the old school. Yeah. They was like Centerville then. Right. We don't, man, we got bleachers. <laughs> yeah. This nigga standing under the rim. Yeah. This hood, like, right. we don't got it. I, w I was comparing that shit yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to CJ, bro, it's parents that's coming to the football games. They kid don't even play. Right. Our shit. Our gym. Our gym. That motherfucker used to be deep, though. Man, that motherfucker used to be hot. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about like a club. Like motherfucking uh, Maribel. Brought out the baddest girls in the city. <laughs> Somebody said, Middle Dale versus Trotwood, 92 to 96. Brought out the baddest girls in the city. <laughs> Trotwood, they always been Trotwood. It's, it's fucked up now because the city go to Trotwood. It used to be Trotwood only at Trotwood. You feel me? Try what chase with real hair, man. Josh, <laughs> Josh fucked up <laughs> with the real. Hey, look, man, that's a fact. This nigga crazy, yeah. But that's what we talking about—the quality. Real talk. Real bro. hair, yeah. man. Come on, bro. You fucking the short hair bitches. Oh yeah. You trying to go with them and talk to them on the phone? You feel right. me? Yeah. Now let me ask you this: Why you ain't send little Bill to a day public school? <clears throat> Is it because of where you live, or are you happy you live somewhere that he can't go? Uh, um, and I'm not saying it's like you should have. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. It just, you know, probably because we was already out there and right. shit. Like, it just happened like that. But I don't know. It's better. It's, you it's, didn't. it's, it's still like to me. That shit like they public. How? It's all niggas on the team. I mean, that's because it's basketball. It ain't all niggas in the school. Nah. Yeah, yeah you right. You feel me? But the teams we play is still, like, we played, they played North Mile last night. It's yeah. all niggas on the team. Yeah. You feel me? Right. <laughs> like, because out of all of, think about it, right? But I think North Mile got more blacks than whites, for real. I think. Because it's the, it's, the, it's the black suburb of Inglewood, Clayton. Yeah. It's, it's like, Trotwood, damn near. It's yeah, the new like, Trotwood. It's how yeah. Trotwood used to be. Yeah. See, Trotwood, when we went to, when we was in high school, Trotwood was motherfuckers who parents went to Trotwood. Right. Now it's motherfuckers from Arlington Court's yeah. kids go to Trotwood. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's just everybody, it's the hot, it's the inner city school that's going, they winning and they going, right. sending you D1. <clears> yeah, but so I think it was just, scramble it up to <clears throat> we was already out there and that's how, how it played out, but shit, it played out good though. I like yeah, they like some dolls, bro. They won, like college, they won a championship last year. We is we last two years. We didn't understand as kids, colleges ain't looking in, at Meadowdale. Shit, they they is this year. I mean, show sure. we they ain't. got a fresh they they got a freshman that played with a little bit on varsity. You yeah, feel me? Like, for Meadowdale, what? That's why I wanted to go to that game. Yeah, he played with little Bill AAU. He yeah. on varsity. Mm. Yeah. And his brother was senior. But even the competition, they don't Shout look at it Shout out to Corey and his daddy and all of them. Even the I'm competition, they don't look at it as the same. Nah. But, shit. 
They looking at him. Yeah. So, that nigga freshman on V. That's that's saying something. His brother was senior, so you know, big brother molded him and working with him, and mm -hmm. so yeah, he he a dog. <clears throat> that's a that's a good thing. Like Metal Dog didn't used to never get nothing like that. Yeah. Like niggas was sweet. Niggas wasn't getting no looks though. We weren't really getting no looks. We were sweet. We were, the look a nigga would get from Metal Dog would be accidentally if they came to see Pooh and he playing young. Mm -hmm. Right. Shit like that. I remember Neat got the tip dunk against Ooh. Dunbar. Two in. Ooh. I remember that. I, I was there that for that. Too. Now, when we played Dunbar my senior year, I, I stayed after school too. to make sure I ain't missed that one. You feel me? Yeah, I remember that, that too. That motherfucker was deep. Off the inbound. Yeah. Two hands. Yeah. Yeah, that was nasty. I was like that. That was nasty. Man, what about them motherfucking flying to the hoops? Them was major. That, see, that gave niggas some, some exposure. Cause yeah. The, yeah. Because uh, the, they was bringing OJ May. Coos was coming. Down here. They was coming to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Scouts Acc accidentally looking at a Cincinnati nigga and finding out about a city nigga. Scouts was coming to see that. Yeah. But you know, I play, you see AAU? I played against Mike Conley. Mm. I played against Greg Oden. I played against OJ Mayo, Bill Walker. Like I played against a lot of niggas that's in the, that's in the league right now. Yeah. Pooh, Chris Wright, Derek Brown. Like she, I played against. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Norris Cole. Staten was too young, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He was. Yeah. He was at third good when he and Colonel White. You feel me? Yeah. But we ain't never even State, we ain't never played State had work. We was playing against Colonel White. Yeah. Like man, State. didn't uh man shouts out to uh RP to uh Nate from Springfield, man. Ah uh, yeah, Nate Miller, man. Nate was a dog. Rest and I remember I used Nate, to go man. to uh <clears throat> yep. when Chuck and Javen used to play in the summer AAU leagues. You with Nate too. Chuck and Javen used to play in them summer leagues at Fairmont. Yep. Nate Nate was there, Jabril. Yeah. Kenny Hayes. Oh, sh yep. Shout Tillman. out to Kenny, too. Tillman. Kenny still overseas. Yeah, still wow. putting up numbers. Yeah. He putting up like 25, 5, and 5. Right now, we 38, Kenny, 36. Kenny still, <sighs> he's still doing his thing. Yeah, that's crazy. But, nigga, that was Jabril, Nate, Javen, Chuck, Tillman. Yeah. I think Tillman's still playing overseas. Is he? I think so. He been over there the whole time. You feel me? Shouts out to Big Carry, man. Carry. Shout out to Carry, man. These is like, bro, I'm talking about, this is, we just said this was going to be like this. Like, that we bring that time out. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a Old time. school and new school. Yeah. You feel me? And that's what be fucking us up for real is that we on the, we on the end of the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s. So we didn't see, nigga, we used to be playing Snake. Right, that's what you said to the red cricket. Yeah, that's what that was. About. Let me play snake root. I'm literally asking, let me see your phone so I can play snake. Yeah. <laughs> then we get to the camera phones and the touch screens and the. We ain't had none of that shit. We had buttons. Right. And 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 minute bills. Yeah. And after seven p.m.s and nighttime minutes and mobile yeah. to mobile and bullshit like that. You feel me? Right. Man, what? Burning CDs and DVDs and punch DVD like man we I'll call you right back in in that time huh? yeah <clears throat> shouts out to Robbie real Trotwood legend Robbie on here yep what's up Rob that's my dog that's my brother I fuck with Robbie you see that's this the yeah work too yeah Trotwood, man, Trotwood bro yeah. Trotwood come on man Trotwood yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think, man. We Trot used to be hating on Trotwood. Trot we, gonna, we gonna tell the truth right now. Trotwood had our number, though. I don't really remember. Bruh, even Trotwood been playing together since they was seven. I don't even remember really beating Trotwood. Do you really understand that? Yeah. That's the real Trotwood that's been, been playing together, together since yeah. seven years old. That's like... Well, my era, like the Mulhouse. Trey, Morris, Cody, T. Randy. Randy. Randy was on there? Yeah. Lee. Yeah. That was like, they had the whole Mohawks team. Yeah. Besides us, you feel me? Javon. Like, yep. Javon, Kev. That was Mohawks. 
That was Mo. Shout out Tall Kev that went to St. Clair. Shout out to Kenlo too. We played AAU with Clint Kenlo too. Yeah. Had the Players University shit. Shout out to Kenlo, yeah. man. We was going, yeah, he had us going around the world too. We was playing AAU with Kenlo, me, Kenny Hayes, Jerron, Javon, Kev. Shit, yeah. Shout out to Kenlo, man. Real OG. Shouts out to Neil. Dorian, Zach, yep. man, like that's this is that's funny, bro. Like, yeah. it ain't no old five niggas like that we really don't know, right? You feel me? Or we kind of like well, they know us, we know them, but we might not be personally linked in like that. But bro, like, yeah. Shouts out to Ricky, I don't know. Yeah, shouts out to bro, man. You feel me? We can't, hey. we can't, we can't, you know, we can't talk hoops and don't put bro in there. Hey. I always had this conversation with niggas. They be asking me who was the who was the rawest guard in the city before my era. Cause I think I was in I was probably in seventh grade watching Bruh at Belmont, you feel me? But niggas used to bring, yeah, they would say Rick. And they'd be like, before I said though, cause they'd be yeah. like they probably be like, oh that's your cousin, you would say, nah, that nigga really was Man, he was giving niggas. I'm talking about the real Aaron one nigga before. I'm talking throwing around niggas' heads, going between niggas' legs, like doing all type yeah. of shit. He was the bro, bro, AI gotta, of the city. We gotta talk about. That time, we gotta bro. talk about Twizzle. Yeah. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. He like, had it too. He had it too. In in. He was in the eighth grade when we was in the seventh grade. Right. At Fairview. Yeah. It was him and you. Right. Yeah. That's who they was talking about. In the seventh grade is you, in the eighth grade is him. Yeah. yeah. But in the entire school is him. Right. Yeah. Bruh, I heard that nigga's name so many fucking times before I knew. Twan Brown, Twan Brown, Twan Brown, Twan Brown, Twan. I'm like, bro, who the fuck is Twan Brown? So he went to the Dale and Colonel White in his high school year, so. Motherfucker just told me a legendary story of he told the coach, if I play for Colonel White, I don't come to practice. I don't got time for that. That don't make me no money. <laughs> He said, nah, you got to come to practice. He said, well, I ain't playing then. Right. <laughs> bro, yeah. what the fuck say this is the level, tip some, level break? Some AI shit. Bro, I remember practice? I, bro, remember <laughs> sliding? He talking about practice. Remember <laughs> niggas used to be sliding at Fairview? He was the one. Bro, that nigga killed me. He was the man. He caught a body on me in the seventh, when I was the, the first couple weeks of seventh grade. Man, you remember before sliding, it was the now lady. Right. <laughs> bro. We sliding at the fair, the first dance they have at Fairview. Josh said, I ain't gonna lie, Josh. That nigga Tommy used to pull that motherfucker from half court. Yeah. I swear I used to see him. He did, bro. <laughs> that nigga used to pull that bitch from half court. Did Tommy go to CJ for a little bit? He hit it. Tommy, yup. CJ, Cur is CJ not Colonel, for, Colonel listen, White. CJ is not for real live city niggas, bro. Yeah, CJ and Colonel White. You're not White, gonna I'm get the VU. Nigga like, oh, no, I'm out of here. We got to even shout out Rick Poole, Quinn yeah. Mills. You feel me? Yeah. I remember yeah. they used to come to the Y and terrorize shit. Steve Wright? Yeah. Yeah. That's who I was see. Pops was coaching at Colonel White JV then. I was still in middle school. I'm coming to practices, his games. Yeah. I'm in seventh grade. I'm going to Pop's practices when he coaching Colonel White Reserve and and getting in practice with them. Yeah. He's like, son, go on there and play point. Early. Yeah. I'm seventh grade playing. We got the, you feel me? Yeah. Sophomores and shit. Right. On JV. Sophomores and juniors. Like, shit, he had me and that motherfucker early, bro. These is, these is real live legendary hoop stories, bro. Like legendary hoop stories, like niggas been like places they don't even niggas was going to splash the rain. Or yeah, like, open, yeah. <laughs> like they don't even have these places no more. Yeah. Bomb burger niggas was hooping. Like Roosevelt. <laughs> Westwood, man, Westwood, man. We used to have some niggas at the center too, bro. Period. Princeton. Yeah. Like shit. We around the city hooping, bro. NYSP. Oh, you just brought back some memories. NYSP. That Mark, shout out to Mark Logan. Mark, he just uh 
shouted me out on my birthday. He said from NYSP to Westwood, yeah. to Metal Deal, yeah. Niggas don't even know about NYSP. They say your daddy was the man at NYSP. Yeah. Hey, was. That's why you went, huh? I didn't want to go. I, 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 that's why I'm saying. Just because you feel yeah. was you go. Yeah, I didn't want to go, but shit. NYSP, some. We need to bring back them little summer camps like that, man, because that shit. And was, that's what the I whole mean. city went there. That's I swear what to I God, mean. I seen mm -hmm. everybody in the city at NYSP. That's what I mean by the impact of basketball and just what's the difference? But like, it's the it's the grown ups. Yeah, because they had basketball, they had swimming, they had tennis. Man, you could do whatever there. I remember, I went to a right pack camp where it was go to the Air Force Base and see all the airplanes and shit. Riding on the, like everybody, it's a they don't have that shit no more. You feel me? I don't know if it's the money ain't there or what, but it's like, right, ain't nobody putting that time in the kids for real like they used to. Like, niggas was going like them AAU trips, and like, I done been, bro, on, got me a tall glass, man. You, like, I'm mean, drinking beer. Hey, bro. listen, that don't mean you gotta pour a whole, yeah. <laughs> Pour the shit out that nigga poured that motherfucker and blamed it on the size of the glass. Yeah. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> ain't you that can that handle bitch? that. That ain't got nothing to do with the glass. Right. <laughs> but damn, man, like, the grown-ups really don't put that kind of time in the kids no more. Like, mm -hmm. the guidance programs and the, the, rec, the rec centers and the, and the, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Will. What's up, Will? Yup, Parkside, Park Coach Mo. Too. You feel me? Like, these is just... Niggas might have went the wrong way. Yeah. You know, like niggas do their own shit as they grow up and their circumstances make them do shit that, but niggas, right. had, they could have, every nigga that went the wrong way from our generation know they could have did the right thing. They just didn't want to. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, to be circumstances, nigga. Yeah, but I'm saying far as there was somebody trying to turn you on to the right thing. Nowadays, nah, they not. Right. You feel me? Yeah. Like nigga could actually be like, damn, nigga told me, I just didn't listen. You feel me? Now, who telling them? Right. Because most of these little niggas now, they don't got no dad, bro. They dad is YouTube. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, that's, so the, that's like we saying, all these distractions. YouTube and Instagram. And without a real dad in your house, bro, to, 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 to get you back off the distractions to what's really important, yeah. you're just on the distractions. You feel me? And sometimes, you know what's crazy? Like I said, bro, I feel like I'm 18 twice. But when I went to college, bro, and, I, and I'm like, damn, this shit didn't, I ain't know none of this shit was going to happen like this. I wanted Hell to go nah. back to Meadowdale. I'm 19. I just got kicked out. I wanted to go back and talk. Right. Like, hey, yo, this shit ain't nothing what they telling y'all. They not. T they just getting paid. They don't back care. Back to talk at the school? Yeah. yeah. But I felt like. We should do that, bro. Now, yeah. But I'm when, I'm when I'm 19 and I wanted to do that, I'm like, but I'm a failure. Like, I don't have the other side. Now we got another knowledge yeah. shit, you feel me? Like, bro, right, young niggas, stuff. like, yeah. I, when I was they, a young nigga, they bro. They be lost, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They be lost as fuck, man. That shit crazy. My senior year, my dad was in prison, bro. So I ain't had no decode. That's why when I say when Jeezy came out, my nigga, I don't have nobody to be like, nah, go yeah. over here. I'm all, I'm over there. Right. Yeah. Figure, like, just experimenting. That nigga Herman told me and Javen before we went to college, he said, hey, man, there's a difference between experience and shit and experiment. Don't right. fucking experiment. Yeah. Ex and I'm looking at this nigga like, I want to experiment right now as soon as you leave. Yeah. We about to have some bitches come through in 30 minutes. Right. We're 18. Nigga, that's all we want to do is experiment. Yeah. What you mean? Don't experiment. <laughs> man, experiment got me in jail, kicked out. Bitch pregnant, get up, boy. Like, you experiment, you don't know what you're doing. You feel me? You right, EJ. You damn so right. Nah, for real. And that's the thing. Yeah. The biggest thing about most trappers is they used to play basketball, so balling is a different type of balling to them. Right. <laughs> but still want to keep that yeah, same I, I'm, mentality. I'm still me. yeah, yeah. yeah. I still was that nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's a different. That's the that's the conversation we having is how hard it is to to stay on that track, bro. Right. When especially when, all right, let's say I'm trying to stay on this track, 
But where I'm from and where I live, the opportunities for me staying on this track don't exist. But they got an opportunity for me to get this pack and be a trapper. Yeah. And the music ain't talking about being no basketball player. It's talking about I went from old school Chevys to drop top right. Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about my nigga When we was 18 That shit was like What yeah. are you gonna do yeah. What you gonna do Cause I'm talking about yeah. Me as a rapper I'm that nigga in high school When I'm a senior And everybody younger than us But when I get the fusions Right They don't know me Yeah So how you gonna get them to know me Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the music had us going crazy too, so I can only imagine what it got them doing. It did. Like, bro, Young Jeezy. I'm talking about there is that's the same thing as now. Man, to Gucci. Be in. Gucci. Yeah. At the same time. Trap house. Bro, I'm talking about you got they bro, if you don't got no your lane, get you some money. Yeah. Nigga, when I'm in fusions, nigga, the only people that they had the shit, nigga, when when it's only Two or three rappers in the city at the time. All right. When Ready and Chaos walk in, everything change. You ain't lying, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> you walking the MJ's and Fuse. 2005? Yeah. So what? You ain't lying. This is like, nigga, this is a hard... We, we trying to figure out how to crack into grown-up cool. Right. Basketball ain't cool to this. Rapping ain't cool to this. You buying bottles? You smoking perp? Or yeah. what, what, what's going on? Right. Cause I got a blunt Reggie in my pocket. Yeah. When I went to MJ's, it was so much perp. I said, I don't want here. <laughs> I'm 18, my nigga. I don't even know where to buy perp. You feel me? Right. Man, they smoking that shit to no end. Yeah. It was the perp days, bro. I swear to God, 05, 06, it was perp days. To us, we balling if we smoking drove. Yeah. At that time. Perp? $50? That's half of some forces. Man, we used to come. We used to come. That's this when I was smoking weed, man. We used to come. Motherfucker. We used to come to Miss Militon class so high. Me and Q. I wasn't smoking yet. <clears throat> Man, we used to come in there so high. <laughs> I'm talking about and and B. Yeah. Me, B, you know, his his parents stayed down there five minutes away. Man, we That's what and I and the man listen. Y'all used to have shit going on because of that. Yeah. Y'all had shit. Y'all had motion because of that. Man, we used to be high as go to his house, smoke, come back. Like yeah. we had all type of shit going on, man. Other shit too. Yeah. Go get laid, come back. Right. Yeah. We're not gonna talk about the count though, so y'all y'all safe. Yeah. <laughs> but I know the count too. <laughs> yeah. I know the count. Yeah, man. I was there. You feel me? Like that's the thing. I was really there. Man, we used to boy. Yeah, them was the days. Shout out my nigga B too, man. Yeah. I'm shouting out everybody, man. Yeah. Real nigga, man. Shout out all my niggas. Man, I'm talking about this is B E A Corn Re Snook. Shit, everybody, man. All my brothers, Dre, Chris. Man, this, this yeah. I'm talking about. I could just think. Of, I see so many niggas from our class. Rest brother. in peace, Q, man. man. I'm talking about man. My my best friend, my my brother, man. You hear me? That's like I was like I was man. Well, fuck me up. And it still fucked me up to this day, man. I couldn't go to his funeral. I was locked up. I couldn't even go to his funeral, bro. I was so motherfucked. I was fucked up in jail, bro. I went to the hole and everything, man. Period. I got that. I called. I called TT. Shout out TT. My sister, Tierra Armstrong. I called TT. Did not even knowing. You know, I called her just to call her. Not even knowing what's going on. Right. I called her. She like. She down like crying like I'm like what's up? She like she just say cute I'm like cute who like I just mind you I just talked to Q it was around Thanksgiving I swear to God I just talked to Q like four days before Thanksgiving 
him and his little brother was his little brother was here from college. Yeah. He like say what's up to little bro. I'm his on brother phone. went to my college. Yep. Yeah. I'm like what up, bro? <clears throat> like I'm talking to him, so I ain't expect to get that news, so it fucked me up. So yeah, man, rest in peace to Q, man. You you know long live Q. We always gonna rep that. Yeah. Forever, like man. That's just a. I'm I'm super big on nostalgia. Like a lot of motherfuckers that know me know that, and it's just be like. We was a to a teacher. We was a three piece. Yeah, like it's it's a teacher that literally can't probably remember us separately. He only remembers us together. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Like this this one of the times, bro. I remember when when he like you said you locked up. So that even hurt me. Yeah. Like. I heard a lot of motherfuckers. Nah, I'm talking about like, you being locked up while that happened. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Cause it's a three piece, man. So I'm damn near. It's just me and Zeus, right? Like damn near, like damn. You feel me? I ain't with my nigga type shit. Like, yeah. So when I, when we standing at the um the visual when they having like the teddy bears and shit, I think it was um I think it might have been Kanisha Kirk. She come up to me. She said, "I know that was really your friend. That fucked me up, bad, yeah, bro. Hell yeah." Cause everybody that know who really your friend, they mm -hmm. feel for yeah, you damn yeah. near more than anybody. Like, man, that's that nigga's friend for real. You feel me? Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> that's that's a nigga that bro. I didn't I didn't did every damn near every single thing you could do with a motherfucker. Right. You feel me? Yeah, for real. Nigga used to be like, "Fuck, bro, your dad is your dad, bro." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you waiting on, man? Like, why you, why you ain't gonna... I'm like, man, I'm rapping. <laughs> nah, I ain't fucking with that shit, bro. I'm rapping. And I remember I played... Look. I remember... Um, I remember I played y'all niggas this song. And I ain't really think that much of this song, for real, till y'all niggas was like, Me and Q? Yeah. Damn. Uh, it's real throwback. You yeah. play me and kill this shit. I got and I can play and I can play this cause it ain't on it ain't on no streaming platform and it ain't gonna mute. Right. This motherfucker right here. Um what's it called? Yep. Mark, man. <clears throat> Hold up, they want me gone. They wish a nigga name freeze up. Unfortunately, though, I'm heating up. This Melting the haters' faces, yeah. they meant so I'm fucking up. I played y'all this, and I'm like, I ain't think it was that sweet. They like, y'all like, bro, this is hard. Turn up a little bit. I'm like, damn, for real? Down, I keep coming up. Hurry up, flow. No calls from the sideline. Improvising in the heat of the moment. Just try to see where I'm going. You'd have thought I had my coma or this reef I'm smoking. I see weed on a daily like you see weed in the ocean. Bunch of shit on my conscience. I call it quiet commotion. Feel me? Top flight, 99 to the opposition. You can't compete. How the fuck are you my competition? Blurry vision, but fuck it, I seen it all. Deja vu through the music, I know I've been here before. Go ahead, hear record, and witness a lyrical miracle. For the residuals, fuck it, I'm going digital. Stealing niggas, bitches, I'm the criminal that's killing them. High, no helium, bounty hunting a million. Took it to infinity, who the fuck is behind me? I'm with the older niggas, try to be. Stealing styles, throwing the towel, boy, you trying to cheat. Same thing, seven days a week. They steady hating on me, but I ain't losing sleep. We doing shows, groupie hoes want to meet and greet. She a vegetarian, I got her eating meat. Look how she's serving it. This the life, top flight, no turbulence. I'm just living this. my life. My life. like, oh wait. Damn. <laughs> like, bro, yeah. we've been like how we is the whole time. Yeah. Like, nigga, that, that picture when we had Turnabout where you got your grill and man, we've yeah, been like this. Right. We've been like this the whole time. Yeah. That nigga Q killed. That's, I paid for that picture and that nigga did me like that. 
Yeah. <laughs> he said, bro, they got to see my pants, man. Your pants, nigga, I got on some shit on my pants, right, too. Yeah. That nigga in the middle like this. Man, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking up the whole shit. But, man, I played that shit for y'all. I'm like, what y'all think about this? I don't know about this. They're like, bro, this shit, this damn near the yeah. best shit you did. I'm like, damn, for real? In the park. Would you had the, the, the champagne park? Yeah. Yeah. Then you had the baby blue, what was it, the Lassade? Yep. You know, me and Q went to St. Clair together. Damn. That nigga, listen, when that nigga seen the way I was compared to high school after yeah. I went to college and lost Fuck. my mind, Fuck you. Hey, Fuck bro, that you nigga up. said, bro, we, we got a class together at St. Clair. Yeah. I'm late every day. That nigga used to be looking at me when I walk in like, <laughs> We leave one day, that nigga said, bro, you don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm like, bro, no. That nigga was damn near about to graduate when he passed away, bro. Damn, bro. He was serious about that shit, too. I'm about to, man, I'm about to get a degree, bro. I'm like, yeah. I'm so, I'm coming for the refund checks. I'm not even putting no cap on it at all. Right. I'm here for the money. He really trying to do this shit. You feel me? Yeah. I'm like, really man, listen. That was the, man. We used to be smoke. Me, 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 Paul, Paul, Mac. There was a few niggas that went to MH. And we went. To, we all went to Sinclair together for a little bit. But me and Q, man, we man, that used to pick me up sometime. We get high. We go to class. We got class together. We go smoke on the roof. I ride home with him. He pick me up in the morning sometime. Like we doing this shit together. You feel me? Yeah. That shit was a like like that girl said, bro. That was really your friend. Yeah. That was bro. like. That, a lot of people, let me say this, <clears throat> let me figure out how to say it right, because a lot of people, it's a lot of people that's Q's friend, bro, but it ain't that many right. people that yeah. feel it like us. Yeah, <laughs> that's real. Zeus, Neek, Mark, it's only a certain few motherfuckers that was around him a lot, a lot, a lot. Neil. Yeah. Shout out to Neil. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody, and I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from nobody else. Be, right. we, when you go to school with him and you be over his mama's house it's every just, day, yeah. then you, it's different. It's different, yeah. His mama see me, bro, and she just cry every fucking time. Yeah. She said, you used to give him haircuts. Yeah. Yeah. She, <coughs> she, ain't, she don't forget shit. Nah, bro. At all. And the fucked up part is the nigga that did it to him is the same name as me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's his first name. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what the fuck, like. She still fucked up to the day about that shit. When they turned the Pizza Hut, that they turned the Pizza Hut on Gettysburg to that little store. Yeah. First time I go up there, I'm with TJ. I'm talking to this nigga like, we need Rellos. We need da 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 da. All right, I'm about to go in the store. I turn around, Gary, open the door. She's standing there crying like, why you ain't called me? Hmm. I didn't even see her at all. Right. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, bro, that, she ain't gonna do that on everybody. All right, hell no. Nah. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> we didn't been through so much shit together, bro. Like, it's a different type of, like, bro, we just, it's different. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, bro, we didn't, like, my nigga. We didn't even have the same hoes, and it's like, so what? Right. <laughs> Remember when you pulled up at Daryl's house with the bitch? <laughs> we just gonna say the bitch, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd I do? Man, my nigga, what's right, going on? Yeah. Like, so what? <laughs> yeah. Hey, my bitch don't work. All right, yeah. Like, it's different when it's different. That shit was crazy, though. You feel me? Yeah. Like, what I'm supposed to do? That's how the game go. But at the same time, it's like... I almost forgot about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Bro, motherfucker gotta understand, bro. Motherfucker gonna go if they gonna go. Right. So, when they go, that's them going. Not right. the motherfucker yeah, playing. Yeah, none of those, yeah. You feel me? They be going. And they know they not supposed to go. Right. <laughs> but if they gonna go... Yeah, they know they're supposed to go. <laughs> Like, what you supposed to do? Like, hey, it's just how it go. Like, shit you could do. Yeah. Man. When it ain't yours, it ain't yours. So let it be whatever it is, whoever it is. Right. You feel me?
But it's just certain shit that ain't gonna come over the weed is though. Don't worry. You feel me? Like, bro, those are them like Jordans. Like bitches is like Jordans. When they ain't yours. Everybody gonna get them. Everybody gonna get them. You feel me? So what we gonna do? We about to like, come on, man. (laughs) The streets definitely make you think they. I well. The streets. Be careful. He said the streets make you think they love you. Well, we love them. Sometimes, yeah, we do. Like, when you get that first taste of what you didn't get before, it's hard to be regular again. You feel me? Like, nigga love that shit. Like, like we said, the basketball players translating that into balling in the street. Nigga want to hear the crowd scream some kind of way. Yeah. You feel me? I got the crowd going wild. Like, I'm still dropping 25 on Swartz. Nigga FaceTime. Yeah. What's up, bro? What's happening? What's happening? Flam, flam. My boy, what it do? What it do? I'm going to turn the camera around. We over here fucking with this live cast, man. On FaceTime. We on FaceTime with my brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening? Well, bro, Snook, you hear me? Yeah. Man, I'm about to come sit down and got uh, let it off my chest one time. Yeah, man, cause man. listen, the yeah, time we come from, they don't know nothing about it. You know I had to shout all y'all niggas out, you hear me? For sure. Yeah. Period, Josh. Yeah. How long you in the building? Uh, Man, it's about another hour. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Flav, get with me, bro. I want to come check you out, though. My boy, I got you. Let's get it. Okay. I'll call you when I leave. I'm checking my fan doors. Okay, that's fine. We got to turn <laughs> that back on, matter of fact. Yeah. All right, boy. They didn't look, 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 look. I just need Tyree to do his thing. What, what's the scope? 34 came back. Uh, that's a lay hit. That's a flat. Tell the people about this gambling shit, bro. How bad are you or how good are you? I'm on this fan duel shit. They should have never bought this shit to the city. <laughs> to the to the state. I said my They should have never bought this shit to the state. I'm a gambling motherfucker. Boy, boy. listen. I'm on this shit every day. I swear Man, to God. You know how many games of Tunk I watch you and Q play? Man, I'm on this shit every day. I'm a real gambler, bro. I watch you and Q play Tunk so many fucking times, bro. I'm a, I'm a real gambler. I'm winning right now, though. I'm a real gambler, bro. I'm on this fan duel shit. Bad. But listen, like we were saying about being able to tell the young nigga shit. Yeah. You could talk to him, but it, you, you can't talk they to him. They want to go through it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's they the damn, fucked up part. It's like they damn near have to. Yeah, they Sad do have to. Sad part about it. But they don't they don't listen to niggas like, that give them the game that make them not have to. I talk to my son all the time, so he ain't gotta go through that shit. Yeah. He he might like I really ain't no cap. I really ain't have to go through do the shit I went through. Hell no. I had both my parents at the house, but it's just, you know, shit shit happened. Like Hey brother, city get to you. Yeah, it's just You you <laughs> it's out man, there. Yeah. If you out there and it's out there, what you just don't get there. I had both my parents. Shit, I ain't have to believe. But like I said, shit, I got the high school. With no clothes being bought, no shit. I'm on my own. So I got to get a job or feel me, make it happen. So Man, shit, look, I got to keep my up. image up. We talking about. I can't come to school not fresh. You feel me? Like, shit, I ain't doing that. No, nah, listen, Niggas right? know the fresh bill from Fairview. Period. And you got to keep him him. Yeah, I ain't Tay no. Tay was him too. What Tay is talking about? He about, about to, to crash, crash out behind, behind FanDuel. Nah, we can't I ain't. Do it. I ain't about to. <laughs> nah, I ain't. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. But shit, yeah, yeah. You know, I got my bets in. I'm hitting tonight. You know, my birthday. Got, just, hey, he got a layup tonight. My birthday just passed. I'm hitting tonight. I'm I smack. swear to God, I want to do it. I just show up. I had, to, shit, I had yeah. to, yeah, I needed you to. Because they be saying, when you bet with the free bets, it take long to get your money out. Nah, man. I've been playing with free bets since I've been on it. I ain't spent my money yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out of it. I swear to God. Yeah. I ain't, 
I'm still playing with they 200. Yeah. She, I ain't put my money in yet. Bro, listen to this, right? We talk about the the negative impacts of being a city nigga, right? But we not we we never really think about. I had a I had a CJ girlfriend in the tenth grade. Appreciate it, bro. Good looking, Josh. That's my nigga, bro. I fucks with Josh. <laughs> yeah, that's too, one dog too. Listen to this, right? <laughs> See that lighter? Yeah. Pretty girls, I had an archive. Different women, I would call mine. Broke their hearts, I left them all crying. My evolution took a long time. Yeah, but pretty girls, I had an archive. Different women I would call mine I broke their hearts, I left them all crying My evolution took a long time Was young and dumb, I never played it right I did some wrong, could never make it right Nah, in 10th grade I had a good girl She went to private school, she wasn't a dating public type Her dad a teacher and her mama was a principal they raised the right as far as life, we had a different view They used to pick me up and leave us in a room alone I had a condom in my pocket I was dying to use Never did it, she a virgin, I couldn't get it in Puppy love, I can't even lie, that was my baby in Movie date, first one, I had never been Fake stretch, arm around her, I was still a kid First kiss, first girl I ever bought a gift Matching fix, had her track picture on a pin Different schools, only seen her on the weekends But it wasn't too many Saturdays we ever missed Rode to the nanny with her parents out to eat, we went They let us have our own table far away from them 18 at the Radisson, you know the one that's been Told me a tablecloth is different than a handkerchief I'm the first home Said I love her when she said it back in blue my Name buzzing, now they know me, I was sidetracked Became a rapper and got blinded by my local shine Life was changing, mine was racing, I was 17 Severed ties, broke her heart, I wanted more for me I let her go, I could've kept her, but she ain't deserve The type of nigga I was destined to turn out to be Yeah, but pretty girls, I had an archive Different women, I would call it's mine the negative part of being a city nigga Broke their hearts, I left them all crying so good. If her parents My evolution like took a long time They picking you up, they buying you For real right. Trying to fuck her yeah. As a man We all go through that phase where We got a good girl, but We ain't ready to be a good guy, you feel me? I mean, you being a private school girl and me being a a public school nigga, it was only destined for me to be what your mama and daddy never wanted you to be around, you feel me? So, out of my appreciation for you being such a decent person, I didn't want to spill me on you. You feel me? When I did this song, I was like, I don't know if I ever get nothing like this. Like, bro, think about this, right? Like I said, I said, I had a condom in my pocket I was dying to use. Never did it. She a virgin. I couldn't get it in. Right. <laughs> bro, you the first, when I lost my virginity the next morning, you the first yeah, thing I yeah, walked I up to it like this. <laughs> You had a shot job in the war room. Yeah, I remember. I think that shit was Rick's, too. I used to, <laughs> I used to wear Rick clothes, but I ain't going to laugh. Shit. Bruh, I'm bro, I'm talking about shit. these is real times. Bro, you said me fresh as fuck. I ain't going to lie. Before I, got, before I got to do my own thing, shout out Ricky Yano. Everybody had a, a, a man, I don't, they don't know I'm getting it from here. You feel yeah. me? 
Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm coming to school nigga. fresh as fuck. Yeah. I'm uh, Rick, you feel me? Doubling like, up the wardrobe with my yeah. shit and your shit in one. Yeah. For real, for real. But the times of bro, a city nigga with a CJ girl, bro, that was like... Uh, yeah, it was going up back. That was real. That was unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> that was unheard of. <laughs> I tell niggas, I tell them CJ niggas like, hey, bro, y'all just don't know what y'all are to that us. That was unheard of right there. Like, 10th grade, I'm a, I am seen I seen some day public, some niggas I went to school with at the mall. I tell them about the CJ bitch all the time. We, we on, they like, that's the CJ girl. Yes. Them niggas like, hey. Yeah, yeah. couldn't believe it. But, bro, you, you, when you a city nigga, you a city nigga. And that ain't what they want. Their parents don't want that for them. Right. Yeah. I be hitting, I move around, I be by they mom, her mom's house sometimes, I be like, damn. Yeah. Look what I'm doing right now. Right. This is exactly why they don't want you, you know? Yeah. So, we is what we is, bro. Like, the city got to us. <laughs> and there so, really wasn't nothing we could do about that. Like, we from where it's going to get to. So, I mean, all we can do is be who we is until we ever, we, you know, we try to overcome it, but it is what it is, bro. We try to make our kids better than what we is. Right. Yeah, for sure. That's all we can do. And shout out to wifey, too. That that That's the best part. Shout out to wifey, because I was a senior, and she was a freshman. Yeah. And I I told Q, I said, I'm going to get her. Q, like, you ain't going to get her. She... She too mean. She walk around with a mug on her face every day. We in, we inquire with her every day. And I, that's the thing about it. I said, when we were seniors, freshmen was too nice to us. And we still together to this day. Yeah. So shout out to Tara Armstrong. Yeah. White yeah. Like, yeah. Your kids only going to be as good as the girl you pick to have with them. Right. You feel yeah. me? You pick some ratchet shit? Uh-huh. It's going to be some ratchet shit. Yeah. So all this shit we saying is basically to say... Cause the, I ain't gonna lie, cause the freshmen was, was killing, killing shit that year. When we were seniors, the freshmen was <laughs> killing. <laughs> and I'm sad to say this. Forgive me if I say this, but God, whoa, I ain't gonna lie. They was smacking shit, uh, bro. Hey, bro. But hey, man. bro, and I'm talking about we, we already them. Man, what? Hey, it was different. No freshmen, boy. We was and we we them, like niggas always like singers that would be singers before we were singers. They would always tell me like, bro, it's different when you older yeah. than everybody in here. Yeah, man, when we seen that, yeah, look at TT watching. <laughs> she probably <laughs> like, when we crazy. seen that, man. That hey. mean from eleventh grade, tenth yeah. grade, and I, they all want us, and they all <laughs> batter for real life. <laughs> Like, they really, you feel me? They come this motherfucker stepping on shit. Shit, man, shit. Terry was a freshman. I was a senior, nigga. I swear to God. Yeah, shit. We have been together ever since. Damn near. It's a bad motherfucker, man. Like, these is, these is. We talk about when we was the chase. Man, yeah. Like, we not talking about us praying on them. They're praying on us. Like, we're the oldest, coolest motherfuckers in here. They're the... I always wondered how they felt until we was a senior and then we finally get that shit. What's up, sis? TT, you <laughs> gotta go back in the beginning and hear when he said, but when it come to y'all yeah, niggas. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she gotta watch the whole thing. She gotta watch the whole thing. That's a funny fucking story, bro. So, bro, it's like, we didn't been kids. We didn't been basketball players. We didn't been rappers. We didn't been in college. T talking about let me exit this. <laughs> <laughs> she hitting the end of it. <laughs> yeah, bro. We didn't really like covered the part of our life where we actually see the same part of our life in our kids. Yeah. That's that's kind of crazy. You feel me? Yeah. But sure. the, what we what we own is just trying to make them better than us. That's all. You feel me? Whether it's the girls, the boys, the nieces, the nephews, the any of that shit. Gotta live a better life than we did, man. 
and and Ain't I'm out here trying to <clears throat> we trying to generational wealth and we trying to you feel me? I think the trying to pass that is, shit on to our right, kids like we right. ain't trying to make them work eighty hours a week. We ain't doing none of that. Man. Yeah. We trying to man go have, to college, have something out. to have them. You feel me? Already set. You feel me? Like I think the key to that is making them less city than we was though. Yeah, for sure. Because that shit that we was too city. It got to us. Yeah. Like my daughter taught white. She's still cultured and know what's cool. Right. But she be... Her friends are white. The friends she talked to on the phone and shit like that, like... It's cool to be like, damn, you you, you, you exposed to different shit that I was exposed to way earlier. Yeah. Now yeah, she yeah. fucking, um... My stepdaughter play in Stiver's band and my daughter is basically going to go there, so she playing the band too. Right. So now I be looking at this shit like, damn, like, you know how to read notes. Yeah. I don't know how to read notes. Mm, you smarter than me already. Right. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. So it's just, it's cool to just see. I don't know, man. We, we, we didn't get, we didn't get a lot of shit we should have got. Mm. So it's cool to see them get. You feel know I me? Mean? Half gallon. And that motherfucker ain't even halfway gone. And I'm already slurred. Rest in peace to my cousin Clyde, man. He got me off this shit. I swear to God, I will not off this shit. He passed away last summer, man. I see, yeah, bro. I seen him at the liquor store. He like, I couldn't find the tequila. I was, I was looking for some orange Patron, Reposado. They ain't have it. I seen him in there. He like, cuz, get this Milagro, Reposado. He said, bro. You know, bro, be talking this shit. You know, I'm a rich nigga, man. I don't, I don't buy no cheap shit. Yeah. He like, shit, man. This Milagro is kind of cheap, but it's good. He yeah. like, get it. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck mm -hmm. it, I'm gonna get it. I gotta fit behind him. I've been on it. Ever since he passed away, I've been off this shit, man. So shit, yeah. All right, rest in peace, Clyde. Rest in peace, Q Stone. Rest in, man, all and we guys, talking about, man. like, Clyde, a real MGG nigga. Man, my dog, it's the, This is... Our time again. My dog, man. Shouts out to Tony Dixon. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to fucking uh man. I'm uh same. The 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 the, the motherfucking the Dunbar, Dunbar saying yeah, like big yeah. Dunbar saying like not Lil bro. I fuck with Lil bro too. We shouts out to him too. Yeah. But like man, MGG and yeah, was that BBM and <laughs> these is the top. Yeah, group. yeah, the, the, yeah. The Dunbar crew. Yeah. yeah. Man, this is... I don't know, bro. It's cool to just go back with a motherfucker that can go back. Hey, Some go motherfuckers don't know what I'm talking about. It's another story, man. Twan Sane. That's what I'm talking about. Eighth grade at McFarland. I seen this nigga dunk in the game, bro. Swear to God. No lie. The only eighth grader I seen dunk in the game, bro. I'm talking about fast break. He dunked it. Period. Eighth grade. I said, ah, yeah, who is this nigga, man? I said, yeah, dude on some other shit. He went to Dunbar the next shit. I was playing against him. You know, doing my thing. You know, man, hey. My era. You one of them ones. That's I why was, I wanted to start with you. My era, I was, I was him. As, talk, as far as talking. For sure. Ain't nigga say tense. different. They capping, man. That's why I wanted to start with you with talking past tense athletes. Mm-hmm. I holler at Javon Ringer. I'm waiting on my nigga to get back with me. He ain't got back with me yet. But our class is just a different class, bro. Yeah. It's a different type of, like, the niggas that was coming out when we was coming out, like, yeah. they mean a lot to who they was, you know, the school they went to. Right. I'm waiting on them. To, if you have got put in the Hall of Fame for Stivers, I'm waiting on you yeah. to get put in the Hall of Fame for Metal Man, Bell. what? That too. Like Niggas can't even mention Metal Dale around this area without saying nah, me or Tay name. Nah. Facts. Nah. They can't mention nothing without saying me and Tay name around this Steph area. Clay. For real. That nigga was like, man, he played like Melo. He had a Melo game. Yeah. He'd get rebounds. He'd go take you down low. He'd shoot the three. He'd cross you. He'd, man, he had everything. Tay, I ain't gonna lie. Tay was that nigga. But you can't mention Metal Dale. In our era, without mentioning us, shit, my sophomore all the way to senior year, it, 
Niggas, but man, we in the paper. Every hey, bro, man, my granddaddy what? used to talk to me about y'all, and he never saw y'all. Yeah, player of the week type shit. And then I'm, like I said, I'm kicking it with athletes, so I'm getting a kick out of. Hey, you remember the dude that came over here? Was that's Randall Armstrong? Yeah. That's my that's my boy. He like, man, that's the guy I be reading about. Yeah. The paper that get twenty and da da da. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> Derek Brown. I got him in the living room. Right. All my granddaddy's the nigga he read the motherfuckers he reading about about man, I'm, they in the living room. <laughs> you feel right. me? Yeah. That shit used to be cool to me. Just like, yeah, I know them. Like these mm-hmm. my niggas. Like, why I got a C and you telling me to bring it up? It's because I'm fucking with them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah, bro. This is another motherfucking episode of the Outspoken Podcast. We approaching halfway through the leader, and I don't want no more. <laughs> we straight. We good. This is my motherfucking dog, bro. Like we we didn't really did, like we say through this whole shit. We didn't know. been through we didn't been through real live times together. Mm-hmm. The the transition of what we used to be to what we is now. Right. You feel me? And we like I said, we miss my nigga Q. We think about him all the time. We make sure we keep his name alive, and we just sure. it's just a different type of connection. Yeah, we ain't recite this shit before the interview. Nah, I, I ain't have to. I ain't reading no questions. Yeah. Well, none of that. Yeah. This shit organic. <laughs> right. This yeah. shit, you feel me? This shit natural. Like, we ain't do none of that. Yeah. So, yeah. You already know. Yeah, this my motherfucking dog, bro. Like I said, our birthday's four days apart. Right. We made sure we gave y'all shit, this shit while it was still Capricorn season. Right. It's another motherfucking episode of the Outspoken Livecast. Stay tuned. Like I said, this is the first motherfucker we bringing on that's about the, the motherfucking legacy and reputation of some of some legendary dating athletes. And we want to make sure we use this to tap into with, you know more motherfuckers that was legendary dating athletes. So, shouts out to TT. Shouts out to Meadowdale Class of 2005. We out this motherfucker. Another episode. You feel me?